Hi Libra, welcome to my channel. This is Mary with Leo Sunlight Insight here to do your February 2019 reading, general reading, insight to your secret message. So there's going to be a little bit of an intro. If you do not wish to listen to that, I will put a timestamp and you can go directly to the reading and skip this part altogether. So I just want to say hi and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching and I hope you enjoy this video and I hope it resonates for you in some way. Please keep in mind that not all things will resonate with every single person out there as this is, a, this is a general reading for the collective. So take what resonates and throw away what doesn't. So please keep that in mind. If this doesn't resonate in any way, you can always go back into my playlist and you're welcome to watch any uh, Libra readings or any readings um, in, for your sign or any signs in your chart if you know your chart you can go and watch readings for the signs in your chart as i feel all my videos in my playlist are timeless even though they may have a date on them um, i still feel though they can be timeless for people so if you see a title it catches your eye and you resonate resonate even with the title if you're drawn to it i say watch it even if i've done it a month ago because you may res resonate with it. So I feel whenever you are meant to see it is when you are meant to see it. Um, if you like how I read, if you're new to my channel, uh, welcome. And if you like how I read, please subscribe. Once you subscribe, you'll see the little bell will show up. You hit that bell and then you will be notified of when I post any new videos. Like the videos. That's the only way they get circulated around YouTube is if they are liked. And that is the only way people who need to hear and see the me these messages will hear and see them. Share. Share wherever you want to share. All social media, your friends, family. Share. Uh, comment. I love to read the comments. And I do respond to them. Check the description box below for the decks I'm using. Information. My email is there. I offer private readings. And... Um, my email is there, my Etsy page is there where I have a variety of listings of readings available. My PayPal link is there if you wish to donate or tip to the channel. It's very much appreciated since these readings do take um, a lot of time and energy on my part, but I do love to do it, so that's why I do it. But tips and donations are very much appreciated. Um, if you have a PayPal account, just click on my link. It'll take you to the page where you type in any amount. I think you can leave a little note there if you want to, and then you just send it, and that's it. Um, and I also like to thank all my new clients who have purchased private readings. They have been very success successful and very helpful to them, so thank you for that. Uh, cross watchers are welcome. If you are watching for a Libra, you're more than welcome to watch. This message may actually be for you and not for your person, or it may be maybe for your person, however it resonates for you. You can, the person watching can also go and watch the readings on your person's sign that you're interested in. Your partner, your person of interest, if you know their sign, you can cross watch their signs as well. Um, we may pick up energies of past, present, or future, so keep please keep that in mind. If you watch this and say, oh, well, that resonated with me, happened in my life, you know, a year ago, five years ago, 10 years ago, last month, that can happen. It can be present energy. It can be something that hasn't occurred yet. So if you watch it and you say, oh, this doesn't really resonate with me at all. I mean, you could come back in a year, a month, a week and say, wow, it really resonates now. So please keep that in mind. Um... And I think that is it. So I will timestamp this and we'll get directly to the reading. Okay, Libra. We have the Barbary Zodiac Oracle here. So I'm going to see what spirit wants me to pull for the sign of Libra for the general reading of February 2019 for the general collective of Libras watching my channel what sign, element, planet, energy they may be dealing with. And if you're not dealing with whatever energy comes out, that's totally fine. 
just throw that part away. I always say keep what resonates and throw away what doesn't. So this might be a special message with if we get a sign you're not dealing with, that's fine. This could be just a special message for those who may be dealing with a certain sign if that's a sign that comes out. So, Spirit, please, can we have one card, please, for the sign of Libra? I'm picking that one. Let's see what we have. Pisces, water sign. Water signs uh, can be emotional, can be loving, too. So some of you could be dealing with a Pisces. If you're not dealing with a Pisces, that is fine. You could have Pisces in your chart. Or maybe a person has Pisces in their chart, if that's not their sun sign. Either way, uh, this could be just a special message for a Libra dealing with a Pisces. So keep that in mind. And if, uh, like I said, you're not dealing with a Pisces, then just toss it out. So let's see. We have the Magical Mermaids and Dolphins Oracle here. So we're going to get your secret message for the month to see what you need to know, what obstacles are you going through that you may need to overcome. Let's see what we get for the sign of Libra Spirit, please, for February 2019. The Journal Collective of Libras watching my channel. What is this secret, secret message? What do they need to know for the month of February 2019? Spirit, please, thank you so much for the sign of Libra. Oh, we got one. Let's see what we have. Consult an expert. More information is needed. Contact someone with expertise in this area. Okay, so there's a situation or something you're going through right now where you need to seek um, expert advice, whether it's a consult, if it's a lawyer, whether it's a therapist, a doctor, um, however that resonates for you, only you know your situation. So whatever your situation is for you, where you need to consult an expert on your specific situation, it's telling you if you're thinking about it and you're not sure, or if you're trying to make the decision on your own and you're contemplating contacting an expert, I think this is telling you that you should probably follow your intuition. And Pisces are also very intuitive um, to get a fair, because Libra is about fair and balance. It's the justice card in the tarot and it's about equality, fairness, balance. So I think to get a fair and balanced overview of your situation, you should probably, whatever you're going through, probably it's telling you here, you probably do need to consult that expert. You're probably um, procrastinating about that's the word I'm looking for if you're procrastinating about getting uh, expert advice I think you should, probably should okay so this is the animal tarot and I just have to show you because it's just so gosh darn cute anyway it's very big and bulky so I'm going to do my best to shuffle it here uh, let's see. Okay, so we're going to get about eight tarot cards. This deck does not shuffle very well this way, but that's pretty good. Spirit, we have eight tarot cards for the sign of Libra. All the decks have been pre shuffled, premeditated on, in cut, off camera to save a little bit of time. I just like to shuffle a little bit more on camera just to get the energy flowing again before we get some cards. So we don't have to shuffle them this way, Spirit. Can we have about eight cards to clarify Libra's situation about what they are going through? What do they have to seek expert advice about? The eight cards to clarify their situation for the sign of Libra for the general collective watching my channel in the month of February 2019, please, for the sign of Libra Spirit. Please, well, it's a lot of cards, but I think I'm going to take these two right here. 
I'll flip them all over and then read them once I get eight. So if we have, take this one. It's a very big, so I hope they all fit in the camera. We have four more. Please, spirit. Oh, I thought that one tipped over, but it didn't. So I'm going to take it. And I'm feeling this top one. So we need two more. Two more cards, please, for the sign of Libra. What is this information that is needed? What is this expert advice that is needed? For the sign of Libra, please. Thank you so much. Two more cards. It's too many. Too many. For the sign of Libra. Two more cards. For the sign of Libra. And this one right here was sticking out to me, and this one right here. Okay, Libra, let's see what we have. You see the cards in there? I want to put the camera down just a speck. Okay. So we have the sun. Wow, Major Arcana right off the bat. Bluebird. Your plans will work out well, bringing you happiness, prosperity, and success. You'll garner the recognition for your accomplishments so you, you so richly deserve. So the sun is Leo energy. Um, this talks about happiness, joy, success, glory, growth, expansion. Um, think about the sun. What does the sun do? It's warm. It's nurturing. Um... It's happy, it's joyous. So that is a very, very, very good card. It can mean happy home and family. So let's see. It's a good card to get right at the off the bat. The five of springs, the five of wands, ram. Occasionally you may experience clashes with others. If you decide the matter is worth your energy, then do what you can to minimize the conflict without sacrificing your goals or beliefs. So the Five of Wands, Fire Energy, uh, Leo Sag Aries talk, talks about conflict, bickering, petty arguments. So you have the sun, but then you have conflict. So that's kind of two conflicting energies. So we'll see what the tarot has to say. Six of Spring, Rescue Dog Mixed Breed. You may receive a promotion, be chosen for a scholarship, or find that you are singled out for special recognition. You're, you've done an amazing job and you deserve all the attention. And that's one energy again. So you got the five and six of wands right in a row. And the six of wands is about accomplishment, success, glory, recognition, victory. So this conflict, but then victory. Okay, so let's see what else we have here for you. The Nine of Winter. This is the Nine of Swords. Sea Lion. Your worries and fears aren't real. They're fueled by focusing on the negative, which gives power to that which you're afraid of. Stop worrying. Let go of fear and everything will be okay. So the Nine of Swords does speak about fear, anxiety, stress, worrying, staying up all night, being in your mind. Um... And just uh, being very afraid. So this fear, this conflict and fear, but then this victory and two cards of victory with the sun and the six of spring. This conflict and fear and anxiety and stress. So let's see what else the tarot has to say. The magician. Wow. Another major arcana. Unicorn. There is magic in the air. You you can manifest everything you need to be successful. Wow. So you're trying to manifest something here that, that you want, that you see, um, that it's going to make you happy and joyous, this growth and expansion. But this conflict in the way of your victory that's stressing you out. In the magician, um, let's see, I believe, let's check what sign that is, can be 
Gemini or Virgo. So if you're not dealing with a Pisces, I mean, we have Leo, Gemini, Virgo. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Air over here with um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. The moon. Wow. A lot of major arcana. You got the sun and the moon. Wow. And the moon is Pisces. Or it can be Cancer. Links. It's important to trust your intuition, even if you're unsure of what's happening. All will be revealed soon, so worry is unnecessary. So maybe that's what this consult an expert is about. Whatever your situation is that you're trying to manifest, that'll bring you the happiness and joy that you want in your life. There's some conflict, conflicting energies around you, whether it's family, friends, or co-workers that are getting in the way of your success. And it's really stressing you out. So whatever you're trying to manifest, whether it's a, a new job or buying a new house or whatever it is for you, there's some things you don't know or understand. And that's why you're contemplating about consultant expert. And I had said, follow your intuition. And here it says, trust your intuition that if you think you need to contact an expert then you should probably do that to help manifest your happiness and joy maybe you're getting conflicting advice from everybody around you um, maybe people think they know everything and they're trying to tell you not what to do but trying to put the two cents in because they think they they know it all and it's stressing you out because you're getting all these different views from all these different people and you're just really confused because the moon can be confusion not seeing things clearly okay so then oh wow you have a lot of major arcana here <laughs> wow renewal 20 raccoon it's time to get clarity about your life purpose and make changes so that you're on the path most divinely suited for you forgive what has been without judgment and fearlessly embrace what's to come so this deck is a little bit different, but that's number 20. And I believe that is the death card. Let me just double check on that. Nope, that's judgment. That's judgment. So, and that can be uh, fire, Leo, Sandra, Aries. And that is about forgiveness. That is about making a final decision. Um, giving somebody from your past a second chance. Um, so you're trying, I, I think you're trying to make, I don't have any energy here of needing to forgive somebody. I have this feeling here because you have the consult and expert, you're trying to make a decision about something in your life right now. Like I said, whatever it is for you, it could be anything, something major, whatever the shift, this change, you got renewal. So you need to make that judgment call to make that renewal, to manifest this new thing in your life that will bring you total happiness and joy. But you need to get all the facts, see things clearly before you make any changes or decisions. And I think you need to stop listening to the people around you that are causing, this could be conflict in your mind not the people around you, but maybe you're getting so much information from di different people, you're just really confused and you have confusing, conflicting thoughts in your head that's blocking your success and keeping you stressed. Wow, <laughs> justice. How many major arcana do we have? One, two, three, four, five. And this is your card, Libra. This is your card, justice. And I picked that randomly out of the deck. You saw that. Spirit confirming this message is for you, Libra. It is for you. So justice, elephant. Fair decisions will be made after all the evidence is reviewed impartially. Have compassion for others and try to see all sides of a disagreement. Wow. So what I'm getting to with this is... Um, Maybe you have to seek legal advice or an expert about a situation. Um, whatever that situation is for you. But here it says, um, after all the evidence is reviewed impartially, 
So like I said, we had said, I think you're, perhaps some of you could be a little confused about whatever this is going on for you that you need to make a decision about, that you're procrastinating about getting legal advice or an expert for advice. And here it's telling you again, consult an expert. Wow. And that is your card as well to get a fair and balanced um, information. Wow. And these are big messages. You have five out of eight major arcana here. Major arcana out of eight. So these are big messages that you can manifest whatever this is whatever this is that you want in your life that will bring you total happiness and joy. But you don't know all the facts yet. That's why you need to consult an expert to make that judgment call, to make that final decision and have it be a fair and just balanced decision after you get all the facts from the expert. So, you know, to get out of your conflicting energies in your mind or conflicting energies from people around you that are blocking your success, your glory right now, and keeping you stressed at night or whenever, keeping you stressed out. So let's see what's on the bottom. <laughs> Okay, we have another major arcana on the bottom of the deck. Wow, Libra. This is a big message for someone. A big message. Awakening. Giraffe. Look at all things in a different way and all will make sense. Don't worry if your progress is ha halted temporarily. Things will soon start moving again. So this is the hanged man, which also can represent Cancer or Pisces. Pisces energy here. So some of you definitely could be dealing with a Pisces, whether or not you know it. Maybe this person that you're going to consult is a Pisces. You might not even know that, but they could be. Or um, maybe it's a situation that involves two people. Maybe the other person is a Pisces and you're seeking out expert advice on a situation. You have the hangman. So I think everything's at a little bit of a halt right now until you see all the facts clearly until you get all the expert advice you need to make this decision that's fair and just and balanced. So you can manifest this happiness, this glory, this success, success, victory. And get out of this conflicting energies around you in your mind that's keeping you stressed out. But we see here um, that justice will be served. You will get your justice and you will get your happiness, glory, and fulfillment, and growth, and expansion. So whatever that situation is for you, only you know your situation. So things may be at a halt now, but things will get better. You will see all the facts. You need to consult somebody if that's what you feel like you need to do and trust your intuition here. Okay, so let's see what the bottom of the oracle has to say for extra guidance for you father healing your personal power increases as you give any father related issues to heaven hmm so i don't know maybe this situation surrounds some of you guys as father maybe okay this is a message i'm getting it's going to seem really random and personal so i'm sorry about that but Spirit's really telling me this, and I'm getting very emotional, like, okay, some of you may have a father that's passed over, and maybe there's some conflict around his death or his will or something of that nature, and I really don't want to get into that personal stuff. These are the messages I'm getting, so that could be some situation for some of you, um something around a father that who has passed some con conflict the energies um so if that makes sense to some of you um that's what i'm getting i'm just curious what's on the bottom of the deck here three of summer hummingbird you have exciting reason to celebrate such as an engagement wedding graduation or birth announcement remember to cherish those you love this is the three of cups it's about coming together maybe there has to be some forgiveness and stuff um within family members or friends if this has to do with a father situation 
maybe we're a father that's ill or has passed and there's a lot of this conflicting energy around whatever has happened I see that there needs to be a healing and a um, coming back together reuniting I don't want to say celebrating because that wouldn't but you know just a very healing reuniting forgiving energy because renewal here is about forgiving so however that resonates for you uh, I'm sorry if it sounded too personal for some of you you know some of you may not even resonate with this message at all that is totally fine like I said go into my playlist and watch other readings for your sign you may resonate with those or check your chart and watch any readings on your uh, rising sign your Jupiter sign your moon sign and for love your Venus sign so Libra that was your message for February 2019 I hope you enjoyed it I hope it made sense I hope it resonates in some way if it does please comment if you like how I read please subscribe hit the bell for notifications uh, share thank you very much for that so um, good luck to you and whatever the situation is I wish you the best of luck and I send you many light love and blessings and find it within the situation here to shine your light.